Uh, hi, Matt with LS Hunting, Fishing, Cooking here. Um, today we're going to be making or smoking white fish. <clears throat> it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, we're going to be using the smoker, obviously. Propane. You're going to need a butter knife, your white fish. Um, the water for the pan inside the smoker. The wood chips. And yeah, it's going to be really tasty. So, to start off, I've already got some started here. You're going to want to scale the fish by just peeling off the scales. Just peel them off. Just peel them off. <clears throat> so the white fish is a uh, common lake fish that is <clears throat> distributed from, uh, from the state of Alaska to the state of Maine in our neighbors to the south, America. Um, <clears throat> They what they go they're commonly twenty inches long, weigh up usually four pounds. Biggest lake trout caught weighs I believe something around thirty. Thirty inches on a or, and fifteen pounds and six ounces in Ontario I believe. So finish off here. And then we'll flip. Hunting season's coming up, so it's gonna be some good videos there. Not that these ones are bad. We're done here. Uh, yeah, all cleaned out. Cleaned out. Come closer, please, Mr. Cameraman, Father. <clears throat> so you can see this fish is scaleless. You can see the little parts where the scales would go in. This feels very smooth. And, uh, yeah. Close up. <clears throat> All right, now we're gonna come back when the head, scales, and tail, head, fins, and tails are off. Thank you very much. So, <clears throat> when you're cutting on the fins on the sides here, take your straight knife, cutting the U around them. Same on the other side here with the head. Go at an angle from the top, from just behind the head, to behind the fins in the front, like that. Back, just cut it off. The ones down here, take the scissors, cut them, and one up here, cut them with the scissors, same thing. So, um, <clears throat> we're back here. We're going to be making the brine for our fish to marinate for... 24 hours and our first ingredient roughly three cups of warm water pour that right in the bowl and we're going to use one cup of uh, golden yellow brown sugar it's much easier and it's not all clumped up and that sort of. Alright. I'm going to put one cup. It may take a little bit. Ooh. Instead of pouring it, we're going to scoop it. It's, that's a much better idea. Just 
second, third of the second. Salt. We're going to use one, one tablespoon of garlic salt. Make sure it's garlic salt, not garlic, uh, garlic powder. So we'll pour it in. Try to keep it nice and even. And Next, we are going to be using one another tablespoon of iodized table salt. <clears throat> yeah, and you want to try and keep it as level as you can. Bam! That's our table salt. Next, we're going to use a third of a cup of maple syrup. We're Canadian. We have to use this in every recipe. Put that in. Pour it into our marinade. Another third of a cup of soy sauce. This brand works best. But other brands are acceptable. Maybe one third of a cup. Next, we're going to use a uh, tablespoon of either <clears throat> apple cider vinegar or balsamic vinegar. We're going to go with balsamic vinegar because it sounds cooler. Get your tea tablespoon out. Pour it in, and bam. We're going to use two tablespoons of sesame oil. Finish it off with a pinch of chili pepper. Chili peppers. <clears throat> now we take our little whisk. Ooh. And we mix it. The sugar and stuff will all be in the bottom all, all uh, gathered up. So maybe a bit a bit tough to start out, but you should be able to handle it. You're going to want to keep mixing until it is uh, a good a good incorporation of ingredients. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds you of Chinese food. But Chinese food is pretty good, so let's begin the marination. We're gonna take our good old plastic bag, like we did in our very first video. Make sure it's nice and rinsed out. Put our fish in. 
Oh man. Take the slippery bit. And we're gonna get our senior cameraman to hold the other side. And just pour it in. And there you go. There's the marinade. Tomorrow we'll have it all all uh, prepared to smoke. 24 hours, roughly. Might wait until it's a bit lighter out. But uh, yeah, 24 hours in a good, cool spot. So we're back here, we're just going to throw this in the fridge, find a nice uh, spot for it, like right up here, make sure that no liquid is on the seal of the bag, and oh crap, looks good. Now it just needs to marinate. We'll see you 24 hours. All right, we're back here. It's the next day. So uh, now we're setting up the smoker, wood chips, cooking, that sort of thing. So we're going to start up here with the wood chips. It's going to be. <laughs> All right, so this is a uh, silver wood maple. Um, it's been dried out for two years. Them. Silver maple trees. Yep, close up. <clears throat> All right, so here we have. Um, before you put place them in your tray, you want to have them smoke. So we or, uh, soak. So we have these ones here that have been soaked for for a while. And what we're gonna do? Part up bark, but the wood part fit, uh, fit touching the pan as much as you can. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. You gotta fit them all in. Very dirty inside, but it is essential to have the black around uh, the smoker because it keeps all the flavor in there. So, come in here and we'll put it on the tray. It's nice and snug. Close the door. And we'll see you in a minute when we talk about uh, propane. Alright, so we're back here. Um, we're going to be uh, talking about propane, connecting it. So, the propane here is uh, on the propane, I can't the word, the propane nozzle. You uh, rotate it to tighten it. It's off reverse, the thread is reversed. And then 
you want to see on your uh, tank, it'll say it'll have open facing one way and close facing the other. You want to go towards open. And we'll uh, see you once we get this all lit up. Alright guys, so we're back here. I'm gonna show you inside of the smoker. See all that? That's gonna be real good when the fish is in there, all hanging and whatever. <clears throat> yeah. So we're gonna wait until it gets to about 200, 285 degrees Fahrenheit in there. Yeah, so we'll see you then. Once it's get up there, we're gonna get the fish and get ready to go, all right? Okay, we're back here. It's already uh, at the right time, right temperature. It took a minute, two minutes. So we're gonna pull out our uh, fish that is uh, finally ready to cook. Smells amazing. So we're gonna pull it out. Already looks good enough to eat. Okay. So we're gonna pull it off, make sure there's no drippings. careful it's really hot and uh, yeah we'll probably come in check in 20 minutes it'll take an hour and a half to be cooked uh, so see that so uh, we're checking in here we uh, have a bit of an issue with the heat that just means that it's going to be down a bit quicker for us still you want to keep your smoker at around 185 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and cook it and smoke it for an hour and a half. It's uh, starting to smoke. You can't really see it, but that means that it's starting to cook. It uh, smells pretty good, and uh, you never want to open it when it's cooking because that get, lets all the heat out. So uh, we're back. Temperature's holding at a good spice. Good. Uh, Thing. We've been out here for, or it's been cooking for an hour and a half, and uh, we're gonna check it out. Oh, it smells great. Check it out. Mm, yeah, I can't wait to eat that. So, we're gonna take our welding glove, pull out the, the, uh, I can't even think of the word. But we're gonna pull it out. The grill. And we're gonna just slide this thing in under because the fish is really tender. And, and yeah. That's supposed to look when they're done, let that cool down, clean it out. The, the tray, not the smoker. We'll see you when it's uh, all prepared and ready to eat. So here's the finished product. We got the onion and tomatoes as a garnish for the fish. We got broccoli as a vegetable and some kind of special rice my dad made. Looks pretty good. We'll see you in a minute. 
All right, so uh, we got our food all set up here. We're gonna start off by tasting everything. We're starting off with the fish. It uh, should be, there is going to be bones in there, but you gotta watch out for that. So, but there's very few. Um, let's have a bite. Oh, that's uh, that's pretty good. Now, broccoli. That's pretty good too, but you need some salt. Much better with some salt. Now, uh, let's try out this uh, special, special rice. Hmm, it's actually pretty good. There's fish here. Let's see if I can describe the taste. It tastes kind of, kind of sweet or salty, but also very smoky. It's pretty, pretty good. Mm. The rice it tastes like rice. Good. And broccoli just tastes like broccoli. So I'll see you when I've cleaned my face. So uh, we're back. Finished supper. It's pretty. Oh man. Best fish I've ever made. Best fish. <clears throat> I'd, I'd rate that meal 10 out of 10. It's pretty easy to make. You just gotta get your ingredients together in your smoker. Yeah, a lot of care was it went into this, so if you'd like to see more, subscribe, like, share, see you on the jerky side.